everybody welcome to another vlog this is Allison and um, I we were just very excited we just saw that Wireton Willie is predicting an early spring we have no idea if this will be true usually it's not but that's very exciting um, I am definitely looking forward to spring so this is our now back to why I'm actually filming this is um, a pattern that's coming out soon and we're we are lucky to test knit it uh, and it's I have it folded because I didn't print off the front picture but there are these handy little pictures here so this is gonna be um, the painted pebbles shawl and it's by Patty from the Forest City Knit Girls and so it's you can kind of see in here in these little darker sections that's the um, slub yarn and so she used our moon rock slub um, to knit a sample and then she held or she knit the other color or the other yarn because um, you need two skeins of yarn one skein of fingering um, like of a normal base like like an MCN or a sock yarn or whatever and then you need um, a skein of slub so she knit it with our moon rock slub and a skein of Leo and Roxy's 8020 um fingering slash sock yarn and so that's what the sample is and so you can see a much better picture of it on or view of it on um their podcast the forest city knit girls the most recent episode which i believe is episode 41 it just came out um this past weekend so yes so she patty has knit this one and which was a overall kind of a minty um vibe so she used Imposter from us, which is a nice mix of different colors and a mint uh, yarn from, mint color from Leo and Roxy. So we are gonna be test knitters and we are also lucky enough to put together some kits for this shawl. So we're gonna have those available um, near the end of February, which is when this pattern is going to be released. So once we know the official dates and times and everything then we will update you on that we do have some uh, well a lot of slub in the shop now if you're interested in buying it beforehand um, and a few um, different colorways on our fingering uh, different fingering bases so we have like our orbit sock or um, we're going to put up some single ply soon and then we're going to put up new stuff to go with um, slub so we're going to put up specific kits of like um, skeins that we've matched together with slub and fingering and then we'll also have just the uh, separate um, skein so that you can make your own combo if you'd like to do that as well so um, this is my combination that I'm going to use oh it's showing up a little bit darker um, this has a, it's a bit it's a lot more lighter pink in here but this is a new colorway uh, it's called is this the pink you're looking for and then we're pairing it, or I'm going to pair it with um, Starfish on our MCN, our Orbit MCN um, sock yarn base, jeepers. And so uh, this goes together quite nicely, I thought. And uh, so this is going to be mine, and I wanted to make sure I filmed this now because I'm very excited to cake it up. And then I wanted to cast it on, but I wanted to be able to show from the beginning to the end on the vlog. Um, if you're interested in seeing how the shawl goes along and the progress and everything, and then if you're interested, um, the pattern will be released uh, near the end of February. So I'm gonna go cake up my yarn now, and I'm gonna cast on very soon.
everybody, it's Jessica. I hope your week is going well. Um, I'm just checking in to show you what I'm working on this week. So this week I am not dying and I am in the sewing studio. So, um, and I am working on a restock wholesale order for the Little Red Mitten. Um, so I thought I would just flip through and show you what they're getting because they're getting a bunch of new fabrics. Um, and some old favorites so here we go so they're gonna get some denim so some of these will be the right side out and the wrong side out so but i think they're both equally beautiful so it's this super dark denim that has this really fun um rainbow like nep or like tweed in it um and then the wrong side is like this lighter side which is just as nice so Nothing wrong with that. Um, so they're gonna get both light and dark ones. And then they're gonna get this new, um, it's a rifle paper co print, but it's got these really cute uh, lemons and peaches on it. And they're gonna get, I think it's called Strawberry Fields, but it's by Cotton and Steel. And then this um, my rust color matches the um, leaves perfectly, so I was really excited to discover that. Um, They're also getting this black metallic uh, uh, moon phases. Also another one by Cotton and Steel. And then they're gonna get these uh, mushrooms, which is also by Cotton and Steel. Um, where am I? Oh, then the blue floral, which is a rifle paper, rifle paper coat. Um, I have done this one before, but it's a repeat. It's always popular. So bringing that one back. And then um, this one as well, the black floral will be coming back. And then black floral again. So those are the mini sized ones. And then same thing with the large ones. I'll get scroll out bigger. Uh, so they're gonna get a one light denim and one dark denim. And then they're gonna get the strawberries. Um, I'm like flipping from the wrong side. So strawberries and then the peaches and lemons. And then the crescent moons. Um, blue floral, uh, blue floral again, the mushrooms, and then this one I really like, it's pretty funky, it looks like paint strokes in a way, or like a countertop maybe, um, so it's going to go with a natural to kind of um, lighten it up a bit, so it's not as it's not dark and gloomy with a black top. Um, I think it's like a really nice neutral colored bag for those who like neutral colors. And then black floral will be coming back as well. And then that's it. That's the bottom. So yeah, so I am excited to get working on those this week. Um, I'm also going to roll in some stuff for the shop that will be coming later in the spring. So I have this really cool galaxy print and then I'm also going to be making some crescent moons because uh yeah for things i can't talk about yet that we're planning for early spring so okay i'm gonna bring these over to the sewing machine and get started
and um, this is Allison. And I've been busy dyeing a lot of Surrey today, so I thought I could show you some of the colors. This is at the very top, so it's kind of a, a bad angle, but this is um, one of our new colorways for this kind of for the spring, and it's called Is This the Pink You're Looking For? Um, right now we have it on Slub in the shop, and then now it'll be on Surrey and maybe Asteroid, maybe other things. I don't know. I'm really liking this color. So there's that. Then there's also, oh, there's another pan. Then there's, oh, put it into the light. Um, this is, this one's unnamed, but it's gonna be something to do with lilacs because they're my favorite flower and I really think this really, really, really says it to me. <laughs> so um, I'm still thinking up a fun name for that, but there's that colorway. And then this one, oh, hands, is um, another colorway that is new and it's in the shop on Slub right now. And it's called Tide Pools of Your Life. So it's a, a really nice, like, mint um, with some, a couple different yellows and a little bit of brown, light brown, and some dark green and it oh and then uh, a little bit of purple too so it makes a really nice mix of colors and I think it looks like a tide pool so um, that's that I feel like I'm not recording with the best quality right now so this might be kind of murky but um, there's another pan of it down there and now I'm working on some minis and also putting some more tonals on um, some Surrey. So, and we're also um, getting some stuff ready for wholesale order. So we've been pretty busy doing that too. So that's been keeping us busy for probably, we'll, for the next couple weeks, we'll be busy with um, a couple wholesale orders, which is a lot of fun. So uh, we've been getting those ready. And yeah, so I thought I would just share because I, I really like all these colors and I think that they look um, quite springish in a way, even though it's only February, but I am definitely um, thinking about summer <laughs> and spring. <laughs> and um, especially with this cold weather, that's really making me think about warm weather. So I hope you're having a good day and enjoying whatever weather you have where you live. And I will talk to you again soon. OMG, thank you everybody. Hey everybody, so um, it's Friday and um, so far I've spent the day, uh, I packed up some orders and now I've been working on, um, we ran out of like like stationery or like product packaging stuff and we're also developing something new for something that's launching next month so I got to do that this morning and then um, uh, I've been trying to make our mini skein label modeled off of our large label so I've kind of come up with a a little mini mini skein label and then when you turn it the base name will be like that and then it'll just have a sticker on it so I think I've got it all figured out and I'm happy with how it looks so I'm gonna get it repeated on the page I'm just an illustrator and then I can send it off everything off to our print shop and hopefully they'll be ready next week. We're all out of our like one inch packaging stickers too. Whoa, the light is doing funny things. So I get to, I'm reordering that as well. Um, and yeah, so we'll be all stocked up.